welcome back to my channel. I decided to show you guys Muffin's um, Halloween cage. Now, one thing I did do is all the toys you are seeing in here, except one, are DIY toys. The reason is because I have a lot of people asking me about where I get my pretty toys, and you could make pretty toys. So, most of these toys in total did not even uh, cost me over $10. So, if you could go to a local dollar store or any store pretty much that sells some of these supplies, you can make it yourself. But let me show you guys what I have inside Muffin's cage. So over here I have a Halloween themed colors, so purple and um, orange. Those are actually foam and on top of that I have a wine ball. Um, so she seems to really like foam. Um, foam is safe for your birds, just make sure that they're not digesting it. So you have to just keep an eye on them, but completely safe. A lot of people actually use them. So this is another foam toy that I made. It was pretty much a square and I kind of folded it and stacked them together. And most of these toys, they're on stainless steel. So I just did that. So this is another toy I made for Muffin. It's actually quite long. Um, and it's pretty much a foam toy and I have green beads in between. At the bottom of Muffin's cage, I have this toy. It's a, a muff, uh, muffin cups at the bottom that are Halloween themed, and I have this. Um, they're kind of they kind of look like bows, like bow ties. So I thought it was really cute. I really like this one too. I mean, this toy I call it a toy, but pretty much anyone could do it. It's pretty much stacking up foam, and it has this very unique, pretty colors to it. I actually really like this one as well. Believe it or not, this toy was actually the most easiest to make. It took me less than a minute. I'm not even joking, you guys. Um, I call it my Halloween bow tie toy. Uh, they look like bow ties. Um, it's pretty much stainless steel. I stack all the toys, kind of scrunching them in the middle. And you kind of get this effect. This is another toy that I have. I actually really like this one as well. This one took a bit longer because it's paper straws and they tend to be a bit more tough. Pretty much I get a needle, poke a hole in between and stack them on stainless steel. My birds are screaming so I might be loud as well. Hopefully I don't sound like I'm screaming but all my birds are pretty noisy right now because their cage is pretty much next to Muffin's cage. Okay, so this was the only toy that I was saying that I did not make, obviously. Um, it's an acrylic toy. I thought it actually fit well with the purple theme, so I put that in. This is what Muffin's cage looks like, and um, her perches are not changing because Muffin kind of memorized her cage, so because she's blind, it's just safer for me not to change the perch, unless like it's very horribly broken or you know what I mean right like if it's very dirty I really have to replace it other than that I don't plan on changing the ladders which are actually a new addition and the perch so those are all the same just new toys um the other toys she had inside her cage for about a month um that's because muffin is blind so you don't want to change a lot of stuff but these toys in her cage will be in here until December so muffin please go in Step down. Oh no, you want to come out? No, mate, the wrong way, buddy. Wrong way. Come, let me help you. Step up. Step up, good girl. No, no. Gotta go. Go in. Okay, so. Muffin, what do you think? Do you like your new cage? Do you like it? I made a new toy. Come on, go in here. You could tell that she's a bit frightened. Um, don't worry. I know they look spooky, but they're fun toys. I made them for you. What do you think? You want me to help you get in? Do you want me to help you get in? Or do you, can you get in yourself? Oh, you could get in yourself. Good girl. See, let's see what she's going to do.
do not forget to subscribe. Um, I try doing at least two videos a week. Um, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.